Look at the number on the board. We know that 5 is the base and 2 is the exponent. Hence, this equals 5 times 5. We also know that this is read as 5 raised to 2. This raised to 2 can be replaced with the word squared. We know that this equals 25. So instead of saying 5 raised to 2 equals 25, we can say that 5 squared equals 25. We just replaced these three words with 1. Why did we give it a special name? Well, mainly because it has many applications. We will see a few in the next video. For now, let's learn something very interesting about squares. What will 6 squared be equal to? Yes, it will be 6 times 6 which equals 36. Now let's try to find the squares of a couple of negative numbers. Say minus 3 the whole squared. That will equal minus 3 multiplied by minus 3. That equals 9. What about minus 7 the whole squared? Remember, the whole thing is squared, not just 7. That will equal minus 7 multiplied by minus 7, which equals 49. Look at all the answers on the board. They are all positive. What does that tell us? It tells us that the square of any number is always positive.